starting with that dramatic new twist in the murder of that Washington Post columnist. The president of Turkey now saying the journalist was killed by the Saudis in a savagely planned operation. Our senior foreign correspondent Ian Panel is tracking the latest there in Turkey. Good morning, Ian. Yeah, good morning, Robin. Strong allegations from President Erdogan speaking moments ago, not just to the Turkish nation, but pretty much to the world. He pulled no punches on contradicting the Saudi version of events, but crucially, he did not criticize or blame the Saudi king or the crown prince. This morning, Turkey's president giving more detail into what he claims was a premeditated plot to murder Jamal Khashoggi. After weeks of speculation and constant leaking from his officials, Turkish President Erdogan saying, the information and evidence we've gathered until now shows that Hashogji was the victim of a murder, which was savagely planned. He didn't offer any proof, however, but backed some of the claims made to the media. And he asked that the suspects be sent back to Turkey, saying, my suggestion is to have these 18 people be investigated in courts in Turkey. The new details coming after more images were leaked by Turkish officials challenging the Saudi narrative on how the Washington Post journalist was killed. Surveillance footage shows the writer leaving his apartment and walking hand in hand with his fiance, later arriving at the consulate just moments before his death. This surveillance video given to CNN is described to them by Turkish authorities as one of the key suspects dressed in Hashogji's clothes, leaving the back of the consulate shortly after he was killed. The suspect is now in Saudi custody calling into question the latest Saudi explanation of what happened, that this was a tragic mistake, not premeditated. Despite the controversy and pressure to penalize Saudi, this photo released by the Saudi press agency shows Treasury Secretary Steve Mnuchin meeting with the Saudi Crown Prince, according to state news, discussing the strategic partnership with America. The president and his son-in-law, Jared Kushner, who has a close relationship with Saudi's Crown Prince, both speaking out, saying they want more information, but also saying they don't want to walk away from a key ally. We're obviously getting as many facts as, as we can from the different places, and uh, then we'll determine which facts are, are credible. And I'll also say that um, we have to be able to work with our allies. I am not satisfied with what I've heard. I don't want to lose all of that investment that's being made in our country. I don't want to lose a million jobs. So, strong charges, yes, but still no hard evidence shared with the press or the public. President Erdogan spoke about ongoing investigations with others, and we know that Gina Haspel, the director of the CIA, landed here in Turkey this morning. ABC News learning that she'll address the investigation and is expected to be briefed on Turkish intelligence. So many questions. Robin. Still very many questions. All right, Ian, thank you. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.